Hello my friends of Catari Labs, my name is Saul Montoya, welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial is about how, how to do a 3D web 3D web representation of a modflow model with a Python, Paraview, Hatari Pi and Steno 3D. Okay, so what we are going to do is we are going to do this representation that is actually fully web and we are going to do that by with the uh, with some work flow because what we what we will need is uh, a bunch of, of tools so let's start with it okay we are going to work with the python library of steno 3d and okay uh, first of all you need some unstructured grid vtk format that is called vtu files and in order to to produce this from your modflow model you have to use Hatari Pi. Hatari Pi is a library that is written by me <laughs> and this library actually creates VTKs from the model. Okay? Uh, it's working. I mean it's still working, it's still compatible, it's Python 3. Okay. Um, um, on the latest development of another library that is called Phi Vista, uh, we have seen that maybe there will be another release of Hatari Pi uh, with Phi Vista because uh, actually uh, it's very helpful to, to create for create the creation of VTKs. But however, so you create with you create the Pi the VTKs with Pi Vistas and then with Paraview, okay, with Paraview you have to transform the VTK. So what 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 is this transformation? Okay, what happens? Because Steno 3D actually do not work with VTK. Steno 3D work with another op with another file type that is called Wavefront Object. Okay, OBG. And in order to work with in order to create this uh, this VTK, this OBJ OB obj these obj um, files what we need to do is we need to transform them okay how we are going to do that in the description of the video you are going to receive three uh, you are going to receive the compressed version of this of this folder where you have some btus uh, that are the ones uh, produced with uh, with paraview then with Hatari Pi, and then in Paraview, uh, we are going to import those BTUs. So actually, I go here home documents. This is the folder that you are going to buy on the description of the video. And here on the BTUs, I will open all BTUs. Okay, that's great. So here is the, the the active zone, the drain cell, the water tables, and the heads. Okay, great. So um, we need to do a transformation here. For example, if I am going to work with the water day with the active zone, with the active zone, I need to do some search. I do ah sorry, filter search and say extract surface. Okay, extract surface. And then I press here. And then I do apply. Okay, and this is the same. But however, if this is if you go to from file. To save data, you can save this as a way from OBJ file format. Okay, and this will be active song, active song. Okay, and then I I will store it here in downloads. Just to I had some before. Ah, so I say active song. Okay, let's see. For example, and I press OK, nothing else. If I want to do from drain cells, I mean on the plain drain cell or the just imported drain cells, if I do save them, actually I do not get the OBJ format, but I, therefore I have to go to filters to search and say extract surface. Okay, here you have extract surface, press here. Okay, and with this, that this is, has the same geometry, you go here and then you have save data and then you have drain cells, drain cells, 
for example, and then for the water table is the same procedure, but for heads, for heads I will do a rescaling because actually it will go from 3,000, 3,500 to 3,900. Okay, okay, this is the distribution. I won't present this as a cell type, as a cell uh, as a cell representation, but I, rather, I would rather present it as a contour. So I create some contours that go from digital. Up, oh, sorry. Okay. And for this type, because the contours are surface, you don't have to extract a surface. You can do this without the filter without the filter process so you just put the same data and is and here you can save it directly to as an obj okay great so we have in the description of the video on the material that we have given to you uh, the the resulting the resulting object files okay and with the script on python we are going to transform no we are going to upload these object files into Steno 3D, okay. Uh, first of all, you have to open. A, you need to open a file, uh, a, an account in in Steno 3D, and then you need a public uh, a developer key. Where where you get this? You get this developer key here. Oh, sorry. Here. Yeah. Okay, I, I will put these links on the on the on the description. Okay, so okay, so after you have done this, okay, we are going to work. We are going to I mean on the Jupyter Lab we go to scripts and then we create a new notebook. Yeah. For just for your information, okay, this is my account in Steno 3D. Yeah, and here I have a couple of projects. Okay, this one is the latest one that I have done. I will delete it. Yeah, and this is a repository that I have. Okay, I will keep this one because I want for you to see that another project will appear here on the dashboard of Steno 3D. Okay, so here. What we are going to do is we are going to import the required package that is Steno3D and this Steno3D object. Okay. We are going to log in. Okay. Here, if you are working with your own key, you have to in insert your key here. But since I have logged in before, I don't need it to insert it. So for me, actually work. This way and okay and recognize my username. Okay, great. So I I create or I define a Steno 3D project. Yep. Great. And then I I will add the object for the objects files for I mean these are the transform files from the VTK that I have done with them with Paraview, for example. This is the water table. This is the model mesh. This is the head contours. And there is a, for example, there is a feature here that uh, there is a normal here that, that is not, is not so. This is to when you want to create normals to the surface, the like potential surface. But it's not so critical for this, for the purpose of this uh, representation. And then you want and the drain cells as well. So you just run this. Okay, great. So it's actually really simple. Uh, is is and it's not really simple. Why it's really simple? Because there is not so much to type. But it's not so really simple because actually you can really uh, you we will see the geometry. But there are many features that I can that can actually be added to
to the geometry, yeah? And for that, I strongly recommend that you do further research on Steno 3D, okay? Uh, okay, there are some other options that you can do this in Node.js by the use of the libraries btk.js or 3.js, okay? Uh, but, uh, um, I mean, if, if you want to do something quick, not so quick, but something powerful, um, this is a, a nice procedure. If you want to do something more powerful, like you can turn to Node.js and then you, you won't need Steno 3D, you can do it with your own object file and, and uh, on your own web server. And so, so, but uh, for, the, for this case, let's let's keep that we do that on let's keep uh, for this case we are going to work with with the standard 3d okay we validate that all our projects that all our project is working all right and then we upload the project okay and they say it's public because we have inserted that public is true okay and it's actually upload it's actually uh, uh, it's uploading okay and here it appears this is the link of the app so it's public so everybody that has the link can see your code okay but what everybody can see that is also a very good question so it appears the new project here okay this is a new project but let's see what anybody can see at this stage of the development let's wait a little bit okay so what this is what everybody can see Okay, so we need to work a little bit in order to create this in a better, more user-friendly because it's, that's why you are working, that's why this is the main reason why you are posting something online because you wanted to do more user-friendly, you want more and better user interaction with the results of the model. That is the main purpose, okay? And this is, for me, it was the main purpose that I, what I, uh, for the development of this tutorial. So I will do five, five, I do a, vert a vertical acceleration. Oh, sorry, something happened. This is, ah, okay, this is one. So this is one and this is five. Okay, great. So this is the, um, okay. And this will be the water table, water table and the water table won't have uh, any opacity and the color will be this one mm -hmm. and this is the model mesh model mesh if the order is not the same actually do not you don't have to care to to care you just have to understand that the big the this big object file is the one that is the model mesh you can actually put the wireframe but there is no or i haven't seen any option to put some opacity on the on the wireframe so actually i just turn off okay this is the contours this is the get contours on our iso surface iso surface uh -huh. as well this one Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. And this is the model drain drains. Okay. And with this as well. Why not this one? And then it's turn off. Okay. And then let's have a look of what we have done so far look at this 
Here you can see where is the surface, where are the boundary conditions, well, the drain boundary conditions. You can also plot wells you can also plot and then you can see which is the distribution of the of the head of the head of the head potential and then you see which are the recharge zone the discharge zone and how the water table is interacting with surface oh, and then you can do it online in order for for everybody to see what you are looking at here you just have to create a slide that is a screenshot okay and came, okay, so here, this is because I am, this is my account in Steno 3D, but if I go, if I use another web browser, so say, where I'm not signing, okay, so this is a web browser that I'm not signing, this is what an end user will see okay uh, so you have to to wait for the representation okay and this is what anybody will see from this I don't know why actually the five mm, maybe six oh, something happened there is something that having it's not but something is going on with the steno 3d this is not my fault okay great so this is the tutorial so far here is a normal web browser that anybody can see uh, my name is Olman Toya, we're from Hatari Labs, we're really excited of the development of the audience of to this blog uh, and we will soon provide you some online courses, I hope that you can participate with us mostly in programming uh, and especially in groundwater resources modeling and programming okay thank you for your attention, thank you for following Ah, what we post, if you find what we post interesting, share with, with your friends and hope that to create a, a great and nice um, community um, and a better understanding of our groundwater resources. Okay, have a great day and see you in another tutorial. Bye!